I don't know if it's a remix or their version. It was Symphony 2000. That's what they called it. Um, yeah, I wrote my verse in the car on the way to the studio. I had a verse already, and I was riding with my homeboy Tommy. I haven't seen him since. I don't think. I don't know. We just bad kids. But um, I wrote my verse, and Tommy, I guess he wasn't feeling it or thought I could do better. So I wrote my verse on my way to the studio, and um, they loved the verse. And, um, you know, that was super dope. I mean, recording with them and going out to L.A., do the video with them. I had a ball. Red and Meth is super cool. Um, EPMD is super cool. Uh, I, I just took the meth more. Like, meth is just so, you know, he's a loving guy. You know, Paul is not no soft nigga, but, you know, he shows super love. So shout out to meth. They wanted Red and Meth on that record. Somebody was sticking up for me up at Def Jam. They was like, all right, well, if you take Red and Meth, you got to take Luck as well. And it was like a, a, a deal. Yeah, so it was packaged. So, and which was super dope. Like, I don't know why I had the first verse on the song because that verse, that song was like a half an hour long. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, Shabam, Shadik, Busta Rhymes. It was, it was like a thousand people on that record. So thank God they got my 12 bars out the way before they did their thing. <laughs> <laughs> 